Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 162 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, come back, kid. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. Ready to fight. Good. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you can't to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, Definite striker taking on a true five tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Left hand punch in the clinch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Right hand on point. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. 
Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Muay Thai club. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh! Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, tags him with the overhand. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice handiwork by him there as he lands yet another punch. He does not take time to admire his work. He just goes right back to work. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. All right, single collar tie now. Able to check the high kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at the whip action that comes from him for the next hit. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. Single collar tie now. Left hand punches the clinch. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that. He's so committed to body punching. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Nice kick. He's got the Muay Thai. Back and forth we go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big head kick. Oh, straight right. Let's go. We need to score that. Make the bad man stop. Big elbow. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Ooh. Ooh, big shot, man. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. Oh, wow, oh! Countering, it looks like with a Von flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Oh, and right. there's the horn at the end of the round. Oh, How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those.
first feet. Left hand punch from the clinch. Big punch from the clinch. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lee gets the tie clinch here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into the right hand. He's hurt. Some real power shots here. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Great punch. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and there's a sharp lead hook by Lee. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the car. Again, they clinch. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Big call to punch land. Now he gets back in range. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got kind of hurt here. Oh! Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Well, he's got his back now under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Arch, right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Seconds now to go in the round. Push him off! Push him off! Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat long. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. He loaded up on that right hand. Too. A little single collar tie there. Unable to connect. Finish down now. Punch over the top. Muay Thai plump. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, straight right. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? He's ready. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, eats a knee. Right hand punch to the clinch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at the turnover in that kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice. Big kick land. All right, single collar tie now. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, collar tie. He's hurt bad. Look at him drive his shin into the front of his body with that body kick. Again, back into this position. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting him. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Battle for position here. Changes his stance. Good stick. Oh! Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! What a performance! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean to stop to this contest. At two minutes, 51 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.